There's geothermal, and then there is super hot geothermal, which uses ultra deep drilling to access extremely hot rocks. By doing that, you get five to 10 times more power per well. This is an electromagnetic beam that vaporizes rock. It's being developed by Quays Energy, a Massachusetts-based startup that's using this technology to reach super hot geothermal energy up to 12 miles below the surface of the Earth. Temperatures that deep can reach 500 degrees Celsius. The oil industry routinely drills to depths of two to three miles and maybe uh, no more than 150 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. We need to double or triple that to actually start to get to the right resource. Others, like Mazama Energy, are experimenting with different methods, but Quaze's technology was invented at MIT in 2007. Quaze is working to scale it for commercial use and demonstrated its technology with oil and gas company Neighbors Industries in June. While the drilling itself is costlier, the energy output is so much higher that you actually net a lower cost for the heat. We intend to build the first in the world super hot or super critical geothermal power plant to show exactly that 10x output that you get by going hotter. Quays plans to pilot this near Bend, Oregon, and hopes to have it ready by 2028. Neighbors sees it as a very timely play. The potential of the market, the size of the market, the fact that today's world with data centers, with AI, with the electrification of everything, we require so much power. In addition to Neighbors Industries, Quays is backed by Prelude Ventures, Engine Ventures, Safar Partners, Mitsubishi, and Collab Fund. Total VC funding to date, $103 million. Sierra said this technology could also help repurpose a significant portion of the labor force that's working on oil and gas assets. And while the Trump administration has made cuts to support for other forms of clean energy, it appears to still support geothermal.